hello guys welcome back in this video tutorial we will learn how to create a generic or the dynamic table so that it can handle different type of data fetched from the server so we will be fetching the data from the server and we will be extracting the columns from the data and we can populate it inside the table we will make it a generic so that it can handle different type of data like it can contain the numbers the strings the booleans the nest, nest objects of key value pairs are an array of tags along with other type of data of string and integers so let's get started i have an empty react.js project that is using end design and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import the table component from end design and start using it so it will be table and if i save it here you go right now it's showing no data so we have to provide the columns and the data source to the table so let's add th those props here and we can say columns and data source is equal to the data source we will declare uh, this variable soon so uh, to make it, it dynamic so let's declare this variable as a, as a state so that we can change them later on so we can say use state and here we can say columns and by default it's maybe empty and import the use state from react and also we can declare the state for the data source and same it will be empty by default here you go it's still empty and if we need to add some columns it will be an object there we need to provide the title we can say maybe id and data index of id as well save it there you go it has added uh, the column right so for the uh, table columns and the data we will be using uh, the data from this dummy json so we can start with the very simple data that is related to the quotes and it will look like this one it will have a id then quote and then author so there we can render these three columns id quote and author and these will be the values right so uh, this is the api uh, to fetch the data so let's copy this one and we can fetch the data inside a use effect so we can say use effect we can fetch uh, and paste it here and here instead of just the console uh, we can say whatever the result is we will say set data source to be result dot it is under the course right so copy this one and you can say result dot course right so if i save it and refresh here you go it has added uh, the id column right and if we need to add another column like the code so it will be again a title of code and data index of code save it here you go the id and the code right let's limit the scroll of this table to maybe we can say some pixels we can say scroll and inside that we can say the y is maybe 600 pixels or maybe 500 is enough okay it's fine right so we can uh, see the table header the data and also the pagination right so this is how uh, we add the columns uh, to the table and the data source but uh, how we can make that dynamic so that we do not, do not need to define the columns beforehand it will get the columns from the data so for that we know that uh, in the data we have uh, these keys id quote and author and because uh, the course is an array and in each object we get the id quote and author so we can create our columns based on any of the object from there so maybe the first object right so here we can say const maybe we can say the list is result dot the course and then we can say const first object is equal to list of zero and if there is nothing uh, returned then we can say it's an empty and in that case if uh, it is undefined or something we can say it is an empty day right and once we have the first object we can say for key in the first object right and here we can say 
we can declare uh, the the columns we can say calls is an empty array and here we can say const a single column is an object that contains the title that will be equal to the key right in that case the key will be id or the quote or the author and then we can say the data index the same uh, pattern we defined here so the data index will also be a key right and then we can say calls dot push the single column right we have declared here and once all of this is done we can say set columns to whatever we have in this columns array and we can get rid of this one by default we can say it's empty and once uh, we fetch the data we define our columns and we define our data source as well right so if i save it and go to here here you go so it has added the column id quote and author and we have the data accordingly as we have here right so the id one two three this is the quote and this is the author and we have the pagination on that as well right so this was a very simple example where we have three columns one is in of type integer another two are of a uh, type string so if the data is in different format like it has in you can say the boolean and also it has it is a object key value pair and also it has a an array so we can take example of that as well so this was a quote if you go to the to do's and see its, its data so it is uh, the, the number then the string it has a, a boolean as well so if we replace this one uh, the fetch call with this to do's copy this one and here in the course we can say to do's and here instead of uh, this course we can say to do's right and if i save it here you go the id to do completed and user id right and here should also we can say the list okay there you go the third one on first one two three the to do and user id and computer is not rendered because it, it is of different type so we can say here while we are defining uh, these columns we can say how to render each of column so we can say the render and whatever the value is passed we can say uh, return a uh, simple span and then the value and we can convert that into a string right so if you save it there you go to, so it has rendered uh, the boolean as well and if we change it again to quotes copy this one and add here as well here you go so no change there yeah. so this way we have handled uh, two type of data one is quotes one is to do's so maybe we can uh, declare a little variable here we can say data type is equal to maybe this quotes and we can change this here and it will it should be changed automatically here as well so here we can say and we can get it from uh, the data type and also here in the result we can say fetch whatever is in the data type it's either the course if I refresh here you go and if i say to do's no it is to do's right so we will be changing this variable to get different type of data right so let's take another example uh, go to the dummy json course to do is done so let's take example of commands and show the output so it has id body post id and then the user it is an object right so if we copy this one and instead of to do's we add the commands here you go id body the post id and the user it it's an object object because we are uh, rendering as the string value of whatever is there so so let's render this one in a different way so we can say if 
the first object of key whatever is in that if the type of this first object is equal to equal to object then do something else and maybe we can say a uh, variable render is equal to whatever we have here cut it from here and by default it will be rendering as uh, the string value and here we can say the render and in case of uh, the object we can render it in different way because it will it will be a uh, key value here so let's copy this one and we can say the render is something else uh, instead of this value we can say object dot keys of of value and then map it and here uh, we can say give it any item it will be the id and then the username right you can say it maybe the uh, the key and here we can uh, return maybe in a span we can say whatever is the key and then a colon and then we can say the value of the sorry in the bracket we can say value of key right so here what we are doing is we are saying that if we got this type of object we will uh, render it in different way we will be rendering a span inside that we we will be getting all of the keys so it will be id and the username and we can say we will say the key first and then the column and the value of the key so it will be rendered like this way id column 63 and username column this username right so if i save it here you go so those are being one line so instead of the span maybe we can say show them as a div so if we make it full screen so id 63 and username this one right so this is how we can handle the objects right so let's go on and handle some other type of array as well so let's go to the post and get those values so uh, it has the tags which are of type array so we can say copy this post and go to here instead of documents if we get the post here you see the id title the body user id and then the tags so uh, because it's an also an object it says uh, the key zero is history key one is this and key two is this one right so instead of th this way we can say we can render uh, maybe in a tags right so here we can say it if it is an object then this one in here if we can say inside that if it's an array then rendered in a different way right so we can say if this is an array then rendered in a different way otherwise render whatever we have right now so let's cut it from here and put it in the else right and here uh, for this one uh, because it will be an array directly so we can say directly map over the value and here we can say instead of that this div we can say it is a tag again from the end design and here we will be only giving the the value this tag okay if i save it refresh here you go so history american crime right we make it full screen here you go so here you see on the table header uh, the title body user id the first letter uh, in small does not look good we can make that as uh, capitalized as well so here uh, we are where we are defining the title we can say we can convert it that into a string and we can say dot character at of zero we can make it uh to uppercase right and because we have made this uppercase plus we can say string of 
again the key and then we can slice it and we will start from the number one so here what we are doing is we are capitalizing the first character and then uh, the remaining will remain the same so here you go id title body let's look good now right so it should have applied on other tables as well so let's check for the to do's here you go and if i check for the comments here you go right looks good so using this approach we can make our table dynamic so we can get the columns and the data from uh, the server and we can render them accordingly so suppose if some reason the data is very nested so in that case we can uh, add our conditions here and we can render uh, that data accordingly and also if for some of the columns we, we want to render it in a different way uh, we can just check uh, the key of that column and we can add a condition here and we can render it in a different way right so overall the idea is the same we get the data from the server and we can create our own columns and their render here and ultimately those those will be applied to the table right but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you